delivered to the tomb of the giant dog things. Unless you, if you're not wielding a planet cracking dildo, or the other reason the tomb of the giants is kind of hard. Now you can drop down somewhere over here and get the silver loot ring, which on my gold loot ring doesn't give you items at a higher chance, it gives you souls. You get more from each enemy, fuck you, buddy. Oh, the Black Knight is awoken. Let's back it up a little bit so I'm not getting shot at while I try to fight this Black Knight. Or he could still shoot me all the way down here. I guess that's also an option. I see you put your shield down. I'd like to impress upon you why that's a terrible... Stop. Just stop. Just stop. Pretty sure it's right over here. You can drop down. No, that's just not in the lower area. I'm not actually 100% sure, but somewhere in his general vicinity you can drop down. That's one of the few items I haven't actually picked up, and by few, I mean I'm pretty sure that's the only item I haven't actually picked up because I never cared enough to look up where you're supposed to drop down to get the silver ring. But, here's an incredibly resistant shield. Two lightning. And basically nothing else. So, if you are in a situation where you need a shield that is ridiculously resistant to lightning, and you, for whatever reason, such as not being Fatty Lumpkin, can't use the Eagle Shield, there you go. It's not bad resistance to fire or magic either, so... Oh, well, the magic's not great, but the fire's pretty good. But it's not 100% physical, so... There's that. What is with the flappy hands in the tomb today? Seriously? It is like the tomb of flappy hands. Again, with the flappy, it's still flapping. I wonder if from up here... I bet I could jump on that little puppy. Smash. I meant to jump. That was not the controller input I was giving at all. There you go. You can just pancake that dog. That makes this just a fucking cakewalk. And... Fun fire. Don't actually recall if I found this in Derp Souls or not. But in case I didn't, it's a thing. There you go. Continuing my magical adventure. You can absolutely ignore basically fucking everything in the Tomb of Giants. Similar to most areas in the game. You can just run down here. You can just keep on going. And seriously, nothing will even bother you. Like, you need not concern yourself with the giant bone dog monsters. However, I'm gonna kill them just on principle because they're there. And that's reason enough for them to die horrible deaths. I mean, really, I don't need a whole lot more provocation than that. You're a thing. You're there. You're gonna get flattened. Pancake! Pancake! Owie. He hit me before I pancaked him, and it hurt me a lot. Hence why, if you don't have the ability to one-shot pancake these dogs, they can be a pain in the ass. They do fucking phenomenal amounts of damage. Pancake! There's not even anything back here. I just enjoy pancaking dogs. There's like, there's like literally no reason to fight these dogs. You should just do that thing I did at first and just wrap around here. And that's the dark part of Tomb of the Giants. Hooray. Great success. Sack. Now, as you all will remember, it was once invaded here by a paladin by the name of Leroy. However, we have bonded as brothers against the vicious monster known as Pinwheel. And now, Leroy and I are you serious? Dude, we fought Pinwheel! Why? Why you do this? Why you do this? 
How's it feel? How's it feel? That's what you did to Pinwheel, you asshole. That's not even fighting. That's not even fighting. That is what you did. Yeah. Now you're just gonna kind of rethink your whole existence. Next time, don't be a dick. Just throwing that out there. Nobody likes a log spammer. Nobody likes a log spammer. I don't care whose team you're on. Hi. Hi. I'm gonna take care of that now. Oh, why that junk? I'll take a nerd to the back for that. Ah! I thought I was gonna super awesome ninja roll backwards through an arrow. Because that would have been like baller status for the rest of existence. Where'd that stupid squiggly pillar go? Squiggly pillar! Where did you go? Hi. Good effort, bro. Oh, there's squiggly pillar. Are you lost? Are you confused? Have you fallen and you can't get up? What are you doing? Like, what? What is this? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know! But you're dead. And now into the room of pinwheels and destruction. Alright, now the objective in this room is to get through it as quickly as possible before being nuked into non-existence by fireballs, but also picking up all of the things. Because you gotta have all the things. Kleptomania. The reason you want to get there as fast as possible is because there's a zillion people shooting fireballs at you. And also babies. Ah, oh, I thought he was doing a long cast. Fuck you, buddy. Ugh. Invasive roll. White Titanite chunk. Die, motherfucker, die! You did. You dead. I dead. Ugh. Take cover! He's not dead, actually. He's actually still alive. Now you're dead. Oh, well, that's not bueno, because that means that guy down there is still alive. Son of a bitch! They have slightly more health than I anticipated! Ah! Ah! Whoop. Excuse me, baby. I got stuff to do. Drop into this cavern for a white titanite slab. Everybody gets one. There's one freebie in every color. Including no color. No color is still a color. Oh, sweet mother of Jesus, the babies. And this right here. I've had a lot of comments. I've had a lot of comments. I've seen them, don't worry. Asking me how I got so much humanity on Fatty Lumpkins. Um... That's literally right here. This is where I got all of Fatty's humanity. I just did this for a while. Because these babies drop humanity. And they're infinitely respawning. And they're incredibly easy to smash. I recommend the Giant's Halberd from the Sentinels in N Orlando. Because the R2 is a big spinny thingy that kills all of them around you because it scrapes across the ground. The big problem is a lot of attacks go over their heads. But that one works out pretty well. Fuck this. I'm coming in. Now before we descend in the abyssal depths here, we are going to need to go good old fashioned fatty lumpkin mode for a minute. And that means Pulling out the divine claymore of fat justice. And I guess Fatty Lumpkin mode would also include the gigantic righteous shield of fat justice. So let me grab that. I don't actually need it, but why not? Let's grab it. 
Just because that's how we fatty lumpkin. God, I haven't had a shield in fucking forever. I've just been two-handed weapons. I forgot how to shield! Someone help. I'm confused. Can someone here help me? Can, can someone teach me how to shield? Can you teach me how to shield? Are you good at shield? He doesn't look like he's good at shield. I don't think this guy can teach me how to shield. We should probably find a nicer neighborhood and go there and then ask those people because he looks upset, actually. He looks incredibly upset. I'm sorry. That one. Ah, oh, damn it. I didn't think one would do it. What is this? Now, the reason I need to pull out Fatty Lumpkin's Claymore is because these skeletons are just like the skeletons in the catacombs. They have a necromancer. And as long as that necromancer survives, I fail at dodge. As long as that necromancer survives, they will continue to respawn. Now the problem is, that necromancer is Grave Lord Nito. So, they will continue respawning throughout the fight. Or the entire fight. However, comma, this could be circumvented. The righteous powers of the light and divinita! Owie can take care of Nito's ridiculously evil powers. Ah, pop it, you fatty bastard. Pop it. Pop it faster. I want to pull everybody. I don't want to do it the not pulling everybody away, because that's lame. You know what, actually? I had a thought. I had a thought. We are going to back up. Come here, minions. Too early. On time. Too early. Too late. Wrong button. Commence fat mode. All day, Nito. I can do this all day. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, if you just get up in Nito's face and kind of ignore everything, it's not particularly difficult. Because, again, let's be realistic, it's New Game Plus. Fatty Lumpkin's defenses don't do that much, really. His blast does not do much damage. And that was me just raw eating it. So not even blocking or anything. If you block it, it does lol lol potato damage. So, 
Get in Nito's face. Press bumpers and triggers repeatedly. Receive victory. That's how business is done. 46 strength. Hold on, I need 20,000 souls. Pretty sure I have that in soul items. Pretty sure I have that in soul of a hero. So they're 10, right? Yes, they are. Let's just pop all these kids. Nope, so kick me out. Oh, no, it's not. Great success. And back to Violink.